Home is where the heart is Heaven knows I didn't get enough And I'm afraid of darkness So life is better when you light me up And I'm ashamed of all of my mistakes For heaven's sakes I've been swinging from the rafters And I don't know if I got what it takes For heaven's sakes Throw me out with all the bastards It's actually working. And so they... It measures your own glucose levels. It was what what your body aliens. needs. It was on the back lot of Universal. <laughs> yeah. All along. It was there the whole time. <laughs> yeah. And then it'll print a granola bar based on what you need. Yes. That's insane. Yeah. Hey, uh, this is, I believe, if I actually wind up editing any of the shows, this is episode eight of, uh, I don't know, Welcome to the Deck. What's it called? What's it Decked called? Out. Decked Out. Uh, Heartlandia. And uh, our guest today is... Tyler. Tyler, how you doing? I'm doing very well. I'm very happy to be here. Happy uh, to have you here. <coughs> Good to see you, Tyler. Impressed with uh, the uh, sample that was sent over. So Yeah, we sent you a sample, and you <laughs> listened to that, and you're like, I gotta be on Thanks that show. Coming. Yeah, <laughs> figured, uh, figured I couldn't make it any worse. Sympathy vote. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, we're just learning. We're learning. It's deck talk. It's whatever happens. Do you, now, if you notice by all the prep sheets that we have out, yeah. as as you know guys know what they were doing with you you would see how, <laughs> yes, and. how much we're dedicated uh-huh yeah, yeah did you read uh, i did i read the, the one that, i read the one that says don't hit the counter right where you hit the right counter right. there yeah um <laughs> <laughs> look at that it's, it's spiked yeah um is it happening it both worked and right we have two microphones going so yeah. we've, we've doubled the amount of technology and one turntable one turntable and two microphones yeah man it would be nice to know what we're doing but it is what it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, yeah. It's beautiful weather. The smoke is cleared. Uh, the fires, many of the fires, local fires are put out. Mm-hmm. Other fires are still raging. Dave's over there getting the barbecue going. Yep. Now, Dave is uh, he's a professional level barbecuist, barbecue, barbecuing. Mm-hmm. Man. Um, but he uses my gas barbecue uh, anyway. I'm slumming it. He slums it at my house. <laughs> As one often does. And you brought your dogs with you. I did. I did. How many dogs do you have? Uh, two. Two today. What are they made of? Uh, sugar and spice and everything <laughs> nice. And uh, one of them is also supplemented with um, some anxiety medicine. So Hopped up oh, on the yeah. meds. Yeah. Do you, do you have any extras of that? I do. I do. But <laughs> those aren't for sharing. Uh, who's sharing? <laughs> Uh, and She's not invited. As far are as they as actual sisters? Your they two are. dogs? Yes, sisters. And um, did you get them at the same time from the same litter? How that I work? I did. Uh, so there was a tragic story about a dog that we lost. And what happened there? Let's dive right in. Oh man. Um, if you're gonna need a moment to. No, yeah, no, yeah. I'm good. It happened a long time ago, and I've, <coughs> I've, I've, uh, I've we'll come, see. To, we'll come see. to terms. We'll see how you do. Uh, so it was the first dog, first dog my wife ever had. She never had a, a pet growing up, as far as I'm concerned. She had cats, but those aren't those pets. Those aren't pets. Because um, science has proved that you can't domesticate a cat. But uh, anyway, so she got her first dog when she graduated college as a gift from my mother. Your mom got Lindsay. Her first dog. Her first dog. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And it was... Uh, it was a long-haired dachshund. And did... Did Lindsay like dachshunds at that time, or was it just like, oh, uh, that wasn't? She didn't really have a choice of whether or not. Um, but she didn't have like a pillow of one. No, or... no, no. I grew up. Um, I've only had dachshunds since uh, my birth. Really? Yeah, it's the only kind of dog I've ever had. Yeah. Um, short hair, long haired, standard, miniature, all sorts of things. But um, anyway, so she got this dog, and she moved to California from the Pacific Northwest, where we spent a lot of time before. And she was down here. I was visiting her along with her parents. Uh, her dad took the dog for a walk. The dog got away from him. He chased it. It got scared running downhill. And the dog was demised. This is a great way to start a podcast. Demise? Just uh, stepped on. Dog stepped got stepped on. on uh, punctured lungs. That, that's why I could never own tiny dogs. Yeah. I, I would. My feet are bigger than both your dogs. And, uh, yeah, they're very small. Seven and, and ten pounds. Um, so the dog went to the vet. It it passed. Um, the lady we had bought the dog from up in Washington State had moved to California uh, three days after we got that dog. So we were living in Washington. We moved to California. 
dog dies. We contact the lady, and she's in California and has a litter of puppies. We go and meet with her. This is, you know, days after our dog has died. My wife's living in California by herself, so I didn't really, we're not normally the type of person that would jump into a new animal that quick, but didn't want to leave her alone because um, I was still up in Washington. Went and met with the lady. Turns out that this woman who we had got the dogs from is moving to Washington State again in two weeks and says, you can pick up the dog. It'll be old enough in two weeks. Uh, so my wife goes and two weeks later picks up the dogs from her, takes them back to our home here uh, in the Sonora area. Are we not allowed to say where we are? You can bleep that out. Uh, no, we we, we talk about being in Twain Art. That's Twain Art, oh, California. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, we bleep out all names so and special. locations. Okay, yeah. yeah. Um, and then the woman, uh, the day that my wife picks up the new dogs, moves back to Washington State. So both times we caught her when she was uh, leaving the state for unknown reasons. Um, and she no longer breeds dogs, so when these two are done, uh, we'll have to find a new... So it sounds like she breeds dogs and then leaves town real quick? Yes. yes. It sounds shady. Is, is that little, not what a, what a puppy mill might... Yeah. It's kind of like that, but she lived in a motor home, so it's not much of a oh, mill. So, it's a puppy so, home. Yeah. Well, so it's even sadder. Yeah. Yeah. It is, yeah. It was very sad. <laughs> Tragic all around. They were crates of dogs. So, how did, uh, so uh, your wife selected Mills both animals? Uh, my wife picked one and I picked the other. What uh, Do you remember what the criteria were for selection? Uh, she wanted the runt because our former former dog had been the runt um mm -hmm. so that was a pretty easy one and then i picked the dog that i picked because it was the only one that would lick my nose oh yeah friendship that's, that's... yeah uh and so which one did you pick you've named uh, them her after. name is gouda you pick gouda uh -huh. and the other dog is uh gorgonzola although she goes by zola, zola. So, so why do you name them after wines What's yeah that? uh you know converts just, demeanor yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, they, they, my wife tries to pretend that one that they had cheese qualities, but they were just they were cute names. Cheese, cheese it's names. It's interesting, but yeah. you know they're adorable. I like them. Uh, they're cute, and they're yeah. over there. They're being great, and they're champions. Uh, no, they're yeah. not champions. Yeah. How? Of what? Uh, there was the <laughs> champion first annual Dachshund Dash uh -huh. in Tuolumne County last mm. year. And you entered them? Uh, we went. There were about 50 dogs in the race. That's a sizable amount yeah, of dogs. Yeah, for a, a town the size of ours. Yeah. Um, and and for people to actually show up. Uh, not just sign up, but show up. Yeah. Uh, so there were about 50 entries. And there were, several, I think there were eight heats. <laughs> um, my dogs came in first place in each of their heats. And then had to race against each other along with, I think, I think there were five in the final. Or no, there would have been eight in the final because there was a winner from each heat. Uh, and in the yeah last heat they had to race and my dogs came in first and second place <laughs> over the other uh, you know forty eight dogs. So so is there any animosity between the, the two dogs? Do they rub it into each other? Not too much. No, one of them is too medicated to, to care. Do yeah, I think yeah, I, I hear you. Just good parents. Yeah, uh, good parenting. We they, so but um, now I saw the video yeah. of the win. Yeah, and it seemed like. The wrong one won. It's correct. Yeah, they the the winner was crowned as Gouda, um, but in the slow motion video that we did record, uh, Zola beat her by by about half a nose. Yeah, it was quick. Like she yeah. suddenly darted across yeah. the finish line yeah. for no reason. Yeah. What was their motivating uh, uh, factor in getting them to move forward as quickly uh, as they did? Yeah, it's it's little controversial because uh, there are people that wanted us banned uh, after this. The rules stated to bring your dog's favorite toy. Uh, or treat, uh -huh. and our dogs only get one toy because they are horrible animals and rip everything apart. Uh, so they, the only toy that they are ever allowed is these orange chuck it balls, and so that's the only thing they know and they love it because it's that's you know, their one. That's it. That's thing. the only thing they get. It's like a miniature tennis ball, like yeah. a half size yeah. tennis ball. Yeah, and so I was just sitting at one end bouncing it, <laughs> and uh, they they came a running. So, so balls don't count as toys to these people? Is Apparently there... not. That mine were, they felt, there was one man in particular that felt that my dogs had been trained, uh, much like a hunting dog, to recognize that and go towards it. Why would that be? And I still don't know why that would law. be against the rules. It, yeah, um, it seems like that would be. I, th I, but I think promise it's you, just dogs, against his rules. Yeah, my dogs are un sounds, untrainable, so they definitely weren't trained. <laughs> 
Well, and you get, did you get trophies or medals? or? Uh, we did. We got a, a medal and a trophy <laughs> that has the word Dachshund spelled wrong on it. So oh, really? Was fun. it as a That's joke? Tuolumne no, County. it was not as a joke. Tuolumne County. <laughs> yeah, what yeah. are you going to do? It has a pixelated photo of a Dachshund, not my Dachshund, <laughs> and the word Dachshund spelled wrong. <laughs> is it on your mantle? Where is it? It's in my office. Oh, really? At, at work? home, at home. Not oh. No, work office is, has got other stuff there. you got to bring that to work. I want to see that. I don't I think I that. saw that. I, I saw the winning will. video, but I didn't see the trophy. Yeah, yeah. I so love, we, I love we're very like, proud of our I would our be. Dogs. Yeah. They're amazing. They are. They're How amazing. old are they now? Uh, they are coming up on just over nine and a half years old. Oh, oh my wow. goodness. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's why they're little schnauts are turning gray. That's right. Or white. Yeah, and that's, uh, yeah. They're cute as could be. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, they're really cool. They're good, good animals. Maybe untrainable, but they're good yeah. animals. And they bring you a lot of joy. A ton. Way too much. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. I, we have a hodgepodge of dogs here. I, I don't know if they've ever brought me joy. <laughs> <laughs> but they. Uh, we have a German Shepherd and then two uh, mixes. mixes. I don't know what they are. Um, Schnauzer, Poodle, uh, Shih Tzu, a little bit uh, of I, I believe, Yorkie. I believe they're uh, weed collectors or burr collectors. Uh, yeah, Bricker Bracker collector dogs. Yeah, um, Chief, my dog Chief likes me a lot, so I don't know why, but he picked me. And that's the, I think the first animal ever to do that. So, oh, so I like him. That's a, yeah, I, that's I, I reciprocate. Quality. Right. Right. Uh, Terry is owned by Fiona. She earned him and uh, bought him off of the. We learned that on the first podcast. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I don't know if you saw, heard that first podcast. You, you did. Yeah, yeah, you've, I, you've heard them all yeah. so far, have you? I've heard all the ones that I've been allowed to hear. <laughs> That's the the first one. Yeah. Thanks for showing up. <laughs> You're a good guy. Yeah. He's okay. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna. Uh, what we often do is. Um, cook food during the, the I like podcast. that. I so didn't we, catch that on the first it, one. So uh, I think you might have heard some food cooking in the background maybe a little okay. bit. Yeah. Um, do you want to throw the tri-tips Was that down? The, oh, they're, they're on. Cakes they're on the griddle? They're on the cakes on the griddle. I, I started off slow, then I just turned up. Crank the it up. Heat on yeah. them, so. I don't know what else. We just had the tri-tips. I don't know what else is. Um, <laughs> That's because you don't know which way it's going. I, I like the old Willy Wonka the best. Yeah, oh, of course. It's the only Willy Wonka. It's angry. You get nothing. <laughs> Yeah, it's my favorite. So, have you ever discussed that? That uh, Grandpa, what was Grandpa's name? Grandpa Joe. Grandpa Joe was the biggest con man that ever lived. Oh yeah, guy, How... guys laid up in bed, can't do anything, right? And all of a sudden, with, all with of a, a sudden, whole bunch of people. Yeah, all of a sudden, his poor, poor son or grandson shows up with his golden ticket, and the guy can dance. Yeah, he did kind of pull a shenanigan there. Yeah. And uh, uh, Mrs. Bucket, Charlie's mom, mm -hmm. was uh, she owned a laundry business or worked there for one just to get a few quarters so that they could buy a little bit of food and divide things up. So they were definitely uh, dirt floor yeah. poor. And uh, Grandpa Joe, it turns out, was sandbagging the whole time. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So we saw that glitter of gold. He's up yeah. and about. Yeah. And he was like coaching Charlie the whole time. <laughs> so you got to do this, got to do that. Yeah. Sneaking into the soda room. Yeah, and then almost getting chopped up by the fan. Mm -hmm. Doesn't fess up. Almost cost Charlie everything. Yeah. What a, what a jerk. I agree. Veruca Salt should have gotten the place. I liked her. I thought she was, uh, she seemed well adjusted to me. Yeah. yeah. Tommy TV, right? Tommy? Uh, I think it's Mike TV. Mike TV. But he did oh, have a brother. Right. Mike TV. Tom. Okay. Mike TV, uh, yeah. and it's spelled differently when he signs his name. T E E V E, I think, on the contract. Oh man! But in the uh, credits, it's just a T and a V. Huh. What is that? It's, it's your wife. Oh yes. She's come back. She came back. That's good. That is. That's Life, good. Life's uh, turn up aces. <laughs> Sorry, shouldn't do that. <laughs> I got spiked. That's why it says right here, don't hit the don't hit the counter. Is that our, our list of rules here? Yeah. We have that laminated. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Well, I was proud. Of it. We have the laminator at work, um, and so I use that for. A lot of home stuff a lot of the equipment at work <laughs> it's got that part out <laughs> <laughs> need to edit that <laughs> yeah, it's definitely inspired though <laughs> definitely inspired <clears throat> um so you you've been to groom lake uh i've not been to groom lake um my neighbor i i recently got a new neighbor who is fantastic uh had a house next to me with eight years of renters renters are great if you're a renter um love them yeah uh, i just wish you would have been my neighbor rather than the other ones that i had the renters that were there um, yeah but got it, wasn't, a new... it wasn't that they were renters it was that it was the concept of the character y that yeah was in or, question. or lack thereof yeah, yeah. 
Um, yeah, so a new neighbor uh, bought the house, and he's a retired gentleman, and in all my conversations with him over the last month or so, have been about, you know, moved about the neighborhood and things like that, and talked about what he used to do for a living as a, in communications, and talked about uh, Pac Bell and all the stuff that he worked for, and was at his house the other day, and he starts talking about going to visit his son in Las Vegas, and he's planning a trip, and he wants to head out to Groom Lake, and I, I said, oh, you know, how are you going to... How are you going to go out to Groom Lake? Are you just going to, you know, drive by, take a look, say, oh, no, I know a way in? He knows a way into Groom Lake. Yeah. Now, uh, for the viewers at home, Groom Lake, I think, is like a top secret security sort of uh, conspiracy. Dry lake bed in. Yeah, right. In, it's a dry uh, lake bed. Las Vegas area. And uh, it's there's some vague association with aliens. Is yeah, all I know. yeah. So the stealth bombers and everything were tested out there and, and all sorts of stuff. But yeah, rumors of alien technology and advanced uh technology that is more not engineered but reverse engineered um so they'll find they'll go on to in theory i'm just i'm just floating out ideas yeah. here they'll go on a spaceship find velcro and go like how do we how did they yeah. make this hook and loop i think uh, it was hook, hook and, and loop. loop yeah right hook and uh, loop. not the brand name <laughs> but hook and loop fasteners yeah, yeah. and We're then they'll reverse engineer compact we need hooks and, we need loops yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. Um, and so he invented all that, something like that. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> it's... Um, but yeah, so he's. Uh, I, I asked him. I said, "Why would you know anything about that?" And he says, "Well, because of my he's one level beyond top secret in his clearance." And I said, "I thought you were like a phone man installing." Communications said, well, yeah, I com installed communications In systems. spaceships? Yeah, what? Yeah. yeah, he started Space Force um, and gave the <laughs> I'm idea excited about Space to Force. Mike Pence. I am, too. <laughs> I, want to, uh, I want to make the patch. It, it's a good uh, distraction. Look over here. Look over look, here. Space look, Force. Look, we're doing Space Force. Look over here. Yeah, don't look over there. Look I use, over here. <laughs> I use it all the time. I just create yeah. Space Force whenever I yeah. totally screw something up. Look at Space Force. Well, and they're going to have to rename all the different branches of the military now. Why is that? Well, because we have Air Force and Space Force, so you're going to have to do Navy Force. Oh, no. Land Force would be the Army? Yeah, Land Force. <laughs> Water um, Force? Seal Force. Uh, what um, else is there? Air Force Force. Um, fire Force? Maybe yeah. the Fire Department? Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's, you know. Wind Force? Mm -hmm. What's uh, What would the, the Department of Education be? That's probably going to go away anyway. Yeah, it was kind of useless from the beginning. Exactly. Thank you, Carter. Yeah, no, we'll definitely put that. that in the private sector. <laughs> Into the private sector. Yeah, I think that should be a business. Yeah. Selling books. Amazon. Amazon, uh, YouTube. Why Why do we have high school when we've got YouTube? I don't know. We just learned how to hook up two mics by going on YouTube. Mm -hmm. That's all I, I, I think my, my last four car repairs, I just had my iPad sitting on, on the side of my engine as I huh. worked on stuff. And watch the videos. Is I think it's amazing. No longer need to go to the mechanic. I like that. I still need to go to the mechanic because uh, even watching the video, I don't understand. I went to uh, the mechanic today. With your um, your hot rod? My or? car has been at the mechanic um, uh, since... It's um, been there for nearly... Some time now. It's been there for some time. And so I've stopped in uh, every Friday um, <laughs> to check in on their, their <laughs> status. Uh, it's been the same since week one. Have they found the thing that they need to do to fix it? They've not looked. So they, they uh, have not touched the car since week one. In week one, they, they found out that I had one wire hooked up wrong, and the car thought that it was 40 degrees outside all the time. Oh, maybe that's why it was like cutting out and stuff? Like yeah, that? yep. And it was running really rough because it was flooding itself it with, was trying uh, to... with gasoline. Um, so they got that fixed, and it runs really smoothly now. Um, but they've not done any of the other things that I asked them to do. Did so. they say they'd get right on it, or they say we'll get to it when we get to it? Uh, I made the mistake of telling them I wasn't in a hurry. You idiot! It, it wasn't a Subaru, was it? Did you say it was a Subaru? No, no, no it's a it's a Chevrolet. A Chevrolet? They still make those? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. That's an American car. Yeah. yeah Spray the dash off uh, when you get in an accident on this one and yeah, sell it to the next guy. Get the forehead uh, yeah. blood off of there. Yeah. Um, it's a Chevy. What? It is a 1951 Chevy Styline Deluxe. That's the same year as me. That's there you my go. that's my birth year. Styline Deluxe is also was my uh, dancer name when I was a backup dancer. I like that. On yeah. Laughing, uh -huh. uh, go go dancer. So a Styline Deluxe. I don't. I've never heard of that kind. I'm Google yeah, that. it's. Uh, okay. Are you googling it's it? A coupe? I don't think that's. It's, it's not got, a real thing. Uh, I don't think you were. The right number. You don't think of I was doors? on Laughing? IMDb. Look, laugh go to in. IMDb. Go to Laughing and look at background characters. You will find Styline Deluxe, a.k.a. Mm -hmm. Matthew Russ. Was that your name on Soul Train as well? On Soul Train? Uh, no. It was um, 
Uh, I can't. I can't share that on. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> well, you have my guest appearance here uh, when I was using my stage name, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help but notice you guys. You. Uh, you, you got the height. Yep. We're pretty close in height. I would imagine. <laughs> How uh, tall is he? He's like seven foot. Yeah. Yeah. You're what? Maybe an inch taller then. No, I'm. I'm a couple inches shorter, but. But you could, I used to be. You could take him, though. Nobody, nobody's ever taught you the yes and. Yes and. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes and I'm shorter than that. Oh, you that mean, would be good. You mean lying. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no. Well, I don't know why we have to. Have to lie? <clears throat> they could be on the... No, uh, the, why they can't they, mark. They're oh. disagreeing with you. So they're they vocalizing this. anxious about something. They saw us a car drive by. Because we're on the deck. Do they don't like cars? They don't know. Like I said, they're untrainable. They're All I know is I mentioned a black man's name and started barking. Evidently, yeah. What's the story dogs there? Are racist. I don't say, say Kareem Abdul Jabbar again to the dogs. Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Look at them. Look at they won't even. Yeah, well, they're, they're, they're sisters, aren't they? They're yeah, they're, they are ear best. to ear. They're best, best buds. Friends, yeah. So one of them, one of your dogs, um, it's my understanding, drags the other dog to the water dish in the morning. Every morning. Every morning. You need to hydrate Zola. <laughs> yeah. And, Thank you, Kuda. And you have it correct. That is the order of it, what Is happens. it like, like two old ladies, sisters talking to each other? I would think it's no, exactly that. No, it's not like two old ladies. Do it's, you ever do their voices? It's like, um, it's more like one of the hyenas from that Disney film. Shrek. No. I know that I, I just don't want to We don't want to get yeah, we yeah. don't want the, the uh, Disney one with the lions and other things. So oh, and the kings yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So there's a hyena that's not very wise. <laughs> um I guess you can say Toy Story too, but we won't say the name of the one that we're describing. <laughs> right. Uh yeah, so the the hyena it's more like what the hyena in that um dragging Ned. Ned the hyena? Ned the hyena dragging um Bell Mustafa from, from the other Disney. Film. Yes, uh, Bell from Cowbells to the water. Uh, and you ever so, see Cowbells? That's a Disney film. I've not. It's about girls who grow up around cows and they sing. Uh, it's a great film. You have not seen that. You guys got to look it up. You can look it up. I'm nope, in there. IMDb's coming IMDb. up. Uh, yeah. So no, it's it's a crazy person trying to draw a sane person to a water dish that that sane person knows exactly where it is. Like I know of it. Doesn't if I was need thirsty, help. Yeah, I would go. I was there six hours ago. It's I'm all good. good. Yeah. I'm, I'm you know hiding. what? Yeah. You're not wrong. Uh, about what? Cowbells being a movie. Every now and then. I feel like I'm at home having a conversation <laughs> with my wife. It turns out All you're not wrong. I thought was a <laughs> no, bad you're not joke wrong. Yeah. It's actually a true fact. Yeah, a lot of my bad oh, jokes you can do are true facts. That Matt, and, <laughs> and then look at that. I actually, you're not wrong. I'm not wrong. <sighs> yeah, I never hear that. Is that you crying? Hey, maybe not me. Yes, and dog's a little. <laughs> look at little why are they sad? Is it the cat? Something's yes. making them answer. Oh, maybe. oh yeah, they they see things. They see the cat. Yeah, they're like that uh, Bruce Willis. I like Bruce Willis. Oh, in like Bruce, uh, in uh, the Sixth bloody. Sense. No, <laughs> Glass. You were worried glass? about Glass. It, it could be. <laughs> oh, well, so unbroken. Things. Was it breakable? Unbreakable. No. Breaking? No, they're more like uh, they. Taken. He, he saw dead people, but he didn't know that he was the dead person. Sixth Sense. Um, uh, spoiler alert. Yeah. Uh, Bruce Willis is dead. Yeah. In, in case you're uh, 18 years behind. <laughs> in the movie. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Maybe they saw that giant raven land up there. And they... So have you guys uh, discussed what brought you to these parts of the woods? We have. We did. Okay. Back okay. In the, the we talked one about it bit. back in the day. I um, I used to go to Indian Guides. As a kid, YMCA had a program called Indian Guides. I don't know if they do it anymore because it was white people dressing as Indians. So I'm not sure. It's you know. <laughs> it's called Cultural Appropriation Camp. We were appropriating things. Uh, but they, they would go, we'd go to the woods, and I loved it. We'd go to um, little cabins. <laughs> And uh, is there is there a meat bee over there? No. no. Is there another dog inside? No, there's a cat. The cat ran through. Oh, okay. oh, the cat. I'm just gonna move them closer. So, yeah, bring them over in their in their box. Hey. There. So uh, I grew up loving the woods. Uh, okay. And then uh, when it came time to have a long term life, now my dogs could see your dogs. Yeah. It's like you know that where well, you got to bring a fox and a chicken and chicken food across the creek. Yeah. Yeah, which order do you do it in? Let's do that right now. So now that that you're made done. it better. <laughs> Chief, come on! Stop it! Sorry, 
don't know if that's on what tape. bark louder <laughs> oh my my word yeah okay what kind of whiskey is this <laughs> my goodness uh, uh anyway that's my dog chief uh barking on your dogs yeah uh that's what brought us to the woods okay. uh and then um dave came up uh shortly after that yeah i i actually worked early 90s i worked at a camp in tuolumne at Silver Spur for a few years. And I used to come up this way, drive around on my days off. And, uh, uh, and then I went to Sacramento for many years and then it was time for a change from that. And by that time, Matt, whom I've known for quite a long time, had that, moved up here. That's me. And offered the bunkhouse and I love the woods. So Pretty cool. And now Dave has- cheaper to live in the place that I would rather live than anywhere else. So that works not, out pretty not well. Not everyone mm-hmm. gets to say that. That's mm-hmm. true, that's true. A lot of people live in places that are very very expensive and desire that but we were like hey let's go out in the woods and we're very fortunate in that we got jobs out here yeah yep it's pretty amazing Tell the interwebs a lot, a lot where you work from home you're allowed to do anything from anywhere i work from home yes and i work at a local hospital you work there too i do yeah that's that's where i spend my my paid hours my unpaid hours uh research in the woods a lot of times research in the woods what yeah. do you do in the woods i uh, just looking for different things uh trying to Track things down. Uh, spent a lot of time. Like Bigfoot. Some people <laughs> use those words. Um, if you were to look, for what it, what what arm of the hospital is does the hunt for Bigfoot? You know, it's the same idea. Under. Honestly, you're always looking for the big idea, the yeah. the the elusive solution. Uh-huh. That's it. There's always clues out there. Yeah. And uh, I think part of the desire of running a good hospital is looking for the the unusual solution that was right in front of you all along. Right. So I think there's a huge tie in there. Um, do you, and so any luck with that? You ever, you ever find anything interesting that uh, you might want to share with us on the interwebs? Yeah, when we get further down. All you right, know, maybe we trust each other more. Down just, the bottle or down the... Well, <laughs> no, you know, the, the research is always happening. You know, like I said, I spent a long time in the uh, Pacific Northwest, so that kind of... Okay. Yeah, I see um, what you're saying. There's there's only so much that you can can see up there, and then you gotta. You have any collectibles from your adventures? There are things. There are things. Yeah. We'll talk about that some yeah, other time. Yeah. I'd like to see them though. Bring yeah. Bring that. Absolutely. absolutely. You ever do castings? Yeah. Yeah, we've done a number of those. That's impressive. Um, yeah. My goodness. Hey, I have a question for you. I don't understand. McDonald's mm. is uh, they have the uh, the Big Mac. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's a fantastic sandwich. Uh, they are doing the bite coin. It's a coin you can buy and keep forever and at any point redeem for a Big Mac forever. So it's a forever stamp for a hamburger. A forever stamp for a hamburger. Um, and so I don't see how that's different than Bitcoin. How is that different than the McDonald's coupons you used to get at Christmas? Remember the, the coupons you get at <laughs> but Christmas? But those were a dollar forever. Yeah, but there, it's any amount of money that you would hold on to forever. forever. But a Big Mac today may be three dollars and thirty three cents, as where six years from now it may be eight dollars. Yeah, it's a better value later. So on. it's an investment, is what right. McDonald's is trying uh, to tell I you. I see. It's an investment. You're, in, you're investing an investment in your arteries. That actually loses. No, because you're not buying the Big Mac now and then keeping it. Yeah, it, to me, like the future Big Mac is probably bill. even better. It's a T bill. It's a T bill. It's yeah. W- uh, it's a bond, right? It's yeah, a government absolutely. bond. Yeah. I think that's nonsense. <laughs> Look it up. <laughs> no, I mean I don't doubt they're doing it. It's it's. Um, but Someone what if they came out the with seven match. different types of coins, and so many people bought them because of the collectability of the coins, they never redeemed them for for sandwiches. Oh, like Beanie Babies. Exactly like Beanie Babies. Yeah. How, how many Beanie Babies do you have? I don't have any. Uh, I, I take that back. I probably have two. Um, not no. I have one Dachshund Beanie Baby. Uh-huh. I do have that. Uh, and then I have a, in my safe at my house. <laughs> is that true? It's true. Wow. I have, um, and they're not Beanie Babies. They are. I have Marvin the Martian and uh, his dog. That's canine. good. What's his canine called? His dog is canine. Is canine. Canine. Yeah. The the yeah. N- the letter and the number. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That is All right, I'm with you. So they're not in there because they're valuable. They're in there because there's nowhere else to put them, uh, and there was room in the safe. Nowhere else to put them because maybe. Uh, Honey, let's. Let's just that would look great in the safe. In the safe right? Oh well, whatever. There, yeah, I just I would I will uh, I stand up for my wife <laughs> in this one instance and say you could say that, but there is a nearly three foot tall Marvin the Martian statue in my garage. So 
I never saw that. Yeah. Where's that? It's on top of the cabinets, and it's like looking down at the workbenches. Oh, so take a look at that. Yeah. So 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 she she's, she didn't. Yeah, she's she's tolerant. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like to make her sound worse than she is most of the time. But she's great. Oh, yeah. She's amazing. Yeah, she's, uh, she's fun to poke at. She's hilarious. Um, how do we get off on that? Oh, Beanie Babies. So you yeah. collect them. Uh, my mom did when I was a kid. Not me. My mother collected Beanie Babies. Did she do it child. for the value? Or let's give her a call. Want to call your mom right now? Definitely Let not just, call my let's mom. check this out. Hey, what's her number? I want to give her a call. Oh, but... yeah. No, I got great stories about her. Oh, and my goodness. Uh, um. Ooh. We, we, uh, she bought all the Beanie Babies. She kept them. She had the little plastic protectors that went over their tags. Their the T-Y tags, tags, right. Yeah. Uh, she bought all the ones from McDonald's. She'd go there and, and make kids cry, I'm sure, because she would, uh, purchase just the Beanie Babies. You could do that. You could say, I want to just buy the toy. I don't want the Happy Meal. People, I don't think, know that. Yeah. You can actually go to any, um, fast food place and just buy the toy. Yeah. It's on the, um, cash <laughs> register. You should buy it out. And so she would do that, and we had, uh, plastic cases full of Beanie Babies at our house. So she was investing. She was. She thought she was investing. Um, we had the Princess Dianas. We had... Gosh, those were beautiful. We had the, the mislabeled ones. We had the misnamed ones. We had, uh, the different generations of them. Um, what I, happened to all those? She, we, we, she kept them for a long time. Um, I thought it was cool. I will admit that. Uh, they were not mine. I did not buy them. Um, I bought more, you know, Marvin the Martian type yeah, stuff. Yeah, I see where you're at. Um, but she did this, and she thought that she was going to be able to sell them for a whole lot. And then when people stopped buying them... Uh, there was she, a crash. There was a there was the yeah. Beanie Baby bubble. Yeah, it burst. Uh, and she still had them all. <laughs> they were in very good condition. Um, I This was in the early earlier days of eBay. Um, I ended up selling them all for her. Um, and there were hundreds of them. And it wasn't like one of each. It was multiples of each. Did you sell them individually? Or did you no, sell them I as a sold collection? them as a lot um, to a woman in Canada. Which How's was she doing? which she... I don't know. It was pretty funny though because we sold them to the woman in Canada, and so not only did she buy them, but she then ended up having to pay the uh, duty on them when they crossed the border. <laughs> duty, and she was not happy about that. <laughs> said, um, well, I would if you had duty on the if I just bought beanie, beanie baby babies, duty. I was duty yeah. on them, I'd be yeah, oh, I'd, boy. I'd be upset. Um, but yeah, so no, my mom had a lot of those. So she, uh, she how, how long was that phase? I'm just curious. Yeah, I know people that were into it. It probably and... lasted a good two years. Oh, really? She was buying them. Wow. Um, Did she start because she there's a Beanie Baby that she likes? Oh, that's cute. That's a Doberman. And she bought it. And then she's like, oh, wait, these are a thing. Or did she go into it like, look, these are collectibles. She went in. Sadly, up. more the second one. She there, was yeah. more. Or she of a... turned into an episode of Hoarders and kind of yeah. Started so that way. one of my favorite stories, and hopefully none of my family ever listens to this. They won't. Um, <clears throat> I have an aunt that I'm not a big fan of, and the reason Let's give why. Give her a name. Let's give her a fake name. The, uh, we'll call her Patricia. Aunt Patricia. Aunt Patty. Uh, so we were on a trip to Washington D.C. when I was in maybe the fourth or fifth grade is when all this was going on. Um, and my mom wanted these Beanie Babies and the McDonald's stores in Washington, D.C. So it was my mom and one of my other aunts, who I do like, um, were buying them. They both collected them. And we went to McDonald's. We went to probably four McDonald's and bought out their Thai mini Beanie Babies that they, <laughs> saw, that they had as the Happy Meal thing. So they weren't full-size ones. They were smaller and they had... Uh, basically it was anyone that w was a limited edition one in the full size ones. They were making smaller versions. That That's were... actually pretty amazing. Yeah. Uh, and it was, it was a cloth yeah. toy with beans in it and yeah. everything. Like, yeah, yeah. it was so, real, just miniature. And these ones were on a, in a little plastic bubble with a cardboard back on them. Uh, much like, uh, your Kenner toys or things were, like that. They knew they were collectibles. Yeah, they knew what they're doing. Um, so they went and the store, the McDonald's stores in, washington dc would not sell just the toy you had to buy the happy meal you know the government it's yeah dc because it's not part of the states you can't vote you can't carry a gun you can't um, buy the toy without yeah, the you meal. can't buy the toy without the meal so Man. we were there on a uh music trip with a middle school and high school strings group so it was uh, what did you play i did not um, I was there with some family members that were part of the orchestra. Okay. Um, and me and my mom went along for the trip for the uh, education and the Beanie Babies. <laughs> um, so we bought all these, and we went back to the hotel. 
And of course, we had like 37 Happy Meals. <laughs> we had drinks, we had fries, we had hamburgers. Oh man, you we got had them all. Chicken nuggets, we had everything, right? And so we didn't want the food, but there were all these kids that were there on the trip. So my mom uh, told me, and this is a different day and age, where in Washington, D.C., you can give a kid a suitcase uh, full of Happy Meals with his two younger cousins than him. Again, I'm in about fifth grade. Mm -hmm. uh, and tell them to go up and down the hallways and sell the food that you don't want from the Sell families. it. So my mom gave it to me. I've always been an entrepreneur, always looking to make a buck. And so we went door to door and we would sell a dollar an item. You want a hamburger? It's a buck. You want French fries? It's a buck. You want Incredible. a soda? It's a buck. So we go door to door. We're selling stuff to all the kids on the trip. Uh, we get to a room that my aunt Patty is in yeah. uh, with some stu some of the students on the trip. Um, she's the chaperone in that room. And we say, hey, do you guys want to buy some food? And she starts telling us that the kids in that room don't need to buy the food, that we should we have to give it to them. I told her that she's wrong and that I'm not going to do that. And I ran back to my room. and With the food. With the food, of course, absolutely. And my Good. two cousins and locked myself in there until my <laughs> mom and my other aunt returned from wherever they left these children unattended in the hotel. And walking up and down selling food. Yeah, walking up and down selling food. Uh, so my mom gets back, and my Aunt Patty is yelling at her, telling uh, her that I was disrespectful and would not sell the food to the kids in her room. You, wait, she changed the story. She lied about a child. She that's lied unpleasant. She lied about that's a child. Not a, that's not a pleasant um, quality in And so I... Because you would have totally sold it, because that was your whole point. That was the whole gig, was to make money. Uh, that's not a good lie It's a part. horrible... Yeah, and so I then came out of the bathroom that I had locked myself in and called her a liar and said that we were selling the food and she refused to pay for it. Um, and I've not liked that woman since that day, because anyone that Did your lies, mom believe you? Yeah, absolutely. Because your story makes total yeah, sense. Yeah, no, it adds up. Uh, so anyone that lies about a child, um, they've got a special place. Uh, in, heck. in in the woods <laughs> in the woods in the woods yeah anyway so that's uh that's my beanie baby story that's incredible i can't how do we even get there that's amazing uh, that that's, that's amazing. my favorite thing ever. how did we get there uh, old forester uh, super forester yeah matter if i have more of that absolutely what's this made of uh, it's uh, malt and barley and I like rainbows things. and sunshine unicorns, and unicorns. absolutely i'm gonna pour very little because i only had one would so you like I'm... an ice cube I would. Okay. Uh, but you're I... the interesting one, so Dave can ask you questions. Oh, okay. I am going to get an ice cube. Right. Ice I would cubes? like an ice cube, please. Yeah. So, uh, Matt obviously knows you way better than I do. <clears throat> yeah. What, what is your job exactly? I mean, other than looking for elves and trees and yeah. cookies. Yeah. So, the, if you go through my, my resume here, um, I my first job, uh, so when I was a student, I didn't like school, uh, much like many kids. And my parents told me that in order for me to be allowed to have a job, I had to have uh, a C average, which my brother and sister were both pretty much straight A students. Uh, I was I was a smart kid, but I just didn't care about school. Um, so I said, fine, I can do that. And so I started turning in my assignments and whatnot. So my first job uh, was at a YWCA ice chalet. I was a Zamboni driver. Ooh. I rented out skates. Um, from there, I went on to be an ice cream scooper at 31 Flavors, Baskin Robbins. Mm -hmm. uh, from there, I went into work for a friend's auto body shop, doing minor auto body work and, and paint work. Uh, then became a welder and welded um, wine barrel racks for wineries, like the big full-size barrels the 50 plus gallon barrels how'd you uh, become a welder like how do you go how do you start that uh you know the wrong people and they're like you need a weld son. you need a job yeah um so they they, they tell you they they see a lack of something in there and in you like, and they, no, they you, say you, you need you need a trade <laughs> um and they teach you to weld and and powder coat so i was a welder and powder coater um for a company uh up in washington state now that's coming handy for you because oh absolutely yeah I, that's the best skill I've ever learned. Is Washington where you're originally from? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. My brother's in. It's barely Washington. It's Camas, Washington. Oh, okay. Almost I Canada. Uh, no, it's I'm almost just Oregon. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Canada yeah. is almost. No, I know Oregon. where Camas is. Yeah. Uh, so I'm from Walla Walla, almost Oregon as well. I was okay. less than a mile from the border, okay, um, yeah. so I could walk there and buy a, a Mexican Coke. From Canada. <laughs> From Canada, yeah. So the cartel is all the way up there. Yeah. Man, yeah. Okay. They have good Mexican on... coke. Yeah. Gosh, they own um, everything, don't they? Yeah. So then through college, did the auto body and the welding. Um, became a teacher. 
Uh, what did you teach? I taught, uh, moved to California and taught kindergarten first and second grade. Did you like those at kids? At a local school. I loved the kids. I uh, loved the school. The school is fantastic. Can't say enough good things about them. Um, but it was a little private school. Didn't pay very well. And I, I kind of weighed my options. And I wasn't getting any younger. I was getting older, actually. Really? Every day. Um, and so I, I had an opportunity to... I also owned a screen printing business for about 10 years during most of this period here. Um And so I was working as many as four jobs at once. And I said, hey, there's an opportunity at the hospital that Matt works at. Um, I'm going to apply for the job. And uh, they (laughs) they bought what I sold and they hired me. Suckers. Uh, Yeah, some days I I feel that way because I feel so so fortunate. Um, No, it's great. But uh, the feeling of being like pretending. Yeah. And so I I worked there and I told myself that I was going to give it a year before I sold my screen printing business. Uh, And within about three months, I I was so enamored with the culture at the the place and the people uh, that I sold my business. And I've been there. um, I'm in my sixth year right now. Um, And and I love it. I love it. And now six years. years? I'm in my sixth year. Yeah. So I, I get to now I think provide, I'm going to be fourth year there. Yeah. I get to provide other people the opportunity to come and work for this institution. And that's cool. So and that's that's like that's preaching something you believe yeah, in. You're yeah, like, yeah. You're like, look, this is amazing. So it's uh, they don't call it sales, but I feel like almost every job is is a sales job. You're always it's always sales. Um, so now I get to sell something that not only the business that I believe in, um, that I work for, but the community that I I've come to love. So I think it's a good community to yeah. sell. Because it, uh, it is. We came here because uh, we had little kids, and now they're medium-sized kids. Um, they're good kids. Are they? I like them a lot. Well, I'm glad to yeah. hear that. What, what's if you had to pick one trait? If you could define them in one trait, uh, Fiona, what's her what's her predominant uh, trait? You know, both of them are just so positive. Um, they both are well-behaved, smiling kids. Um, I'm sure they have their moments where they're not that. I beat the crap out of them yeah. almost every day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, on the body though, not on the face. <laughs> never the face. Never the face. I learned that on the yeah. on CSI. Never. The uh, face. Yeah, no, they are. I don't beat them. I don't beat my children. Uh, yeah, they are amazing. So I'm glad you like them. And they yeah. are. They're yeah. they are good conversationalists. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and they 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 want things out of life. They I do. don't know that they know what those things are yet. They don't. But you can totally see that they know there's something out there that is. They're not passive. They're no, not, not, they're at not, at not just a, not at uh, a dead twig floating aimlessly along the uh, edge of a mighty stream of uh, of uh, oblivion. No, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> they're not that. Space Force may be there. Oh, I can't wait. They're gonna both. <laughs> uh, they're gonna both work for Space Force. How do we get off on kids? Oh, so you, so kids, uh, yeah. you like the kids you yeah. uh, worked with, yeah, uh, and you like the place you work now because mm-hmm. you're selling something you truly believe in, yeah, um, yeah, uh, yeah. Fortunate beyond all belief, it really is. It's uh, and it's you're and you're a building pinch, a pinch me moments. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, right? absolutely. I feel, I feel the same way. Uh, I, went, I worked for the Navy for a long time, about ten years, and McHale's. Uh, yeah, McHale's Navy. Uh, gosh, those some goofballs, lovable goofballs. Mm-hmm. Wasn't the old old one though. The old, old one. Old McHale? Navy. Yeah, not the uh, <laughs> Steve Martin one. Uh, yeah, amazing. But uh, oh, the, the best people that I ever met up to that point uh, were at uh, the Naval Postgraduate School. Truly extraordinary. Didn't think I'd ever find that again. Uh, the people that work for the hospital uh, pour their heart and souls and minds and everything into every day. Uh, truly impressive. So I, I consider myself blessed to be a part of that crew and support them in any way possible because uh, it's certainly mind-blowing. Pretty impressive. Mm-hmm. You know, like you go through, I don't know, I've worked for a lot of different places and you always go through orientation and they always have like the um, the mission statement and how we got started mm-hmm. and the, the core beliefs of the founder and all this stuff. And, I, and I'm, always, I'm always all in. I'm always like, that's amazing. Uh, and then two weeks into the job, it's just, you know, making copies for people yeah. or whatever. The cute story you told me. Right, and it's done. And yeah. so when I started working at the hospital and we went to orientation and the amount of effort that goes into uh, the earnestness of truly wanting to help people on every possible level, I thought, gosh, I hope they really believe that. And it's a great story. And uh, I've been there three and a half years now, and it's not just a great story. It's actually very true, which is cool. Cool people, mm-hmm. uh, like yourself. Uh, Thanks, sir. Yeah, Absolutely. Um, so where were we on your life somewhere? How did you go from <laughs> welding 
to uh, you went from welding to teaching to working for the hospital, and you're building your own race car. Uh, <laughs> yes. How did you? How did you select this car? Because um, um, you suddenly, to, in, from where I stood, you suddenly had this car. I did. It did. And it was like in pieces. Yeah. Uh, and um, now it's almost running or it's running it. It's running, yeah. And the the people at the shop, they drive it around the lot to move it. <laughs> so they? I've never driven it. but They've they driven have. it more than you. Yeah. yeah, I've dropped it there off on a trailer or dropped it off there on a trailer. Um, my wife gave me a, a set of parameters. That's the lovely woman we were talking about before. Uh, she said that I could not purchase it with money from our shared finances. I could not work on it with money from our shared finances. I could not keep it at our house until it was complete, um, which meant I could not work on it at our house. Right. You um, couldn't have a, like a hunk of junk in the front yard. Yeah, yeah, which we live in a neighborhood that doesn't allow those things. Um, right, you have a homeowner's association, yeah. you have nice houses, yeah. uh, mowed lawns, all, yeah, that, right? all could, that stuff. You couldn't have like a rusty, um, rusty thing. Yeah, and so when she gave me those rules, she thought that that meant I would not have the project. And I would say in about six weeks, I had sold little knickknacks that I had, and uh, I had kept my vinyl cutter from when I owned my screen printing company. I started selling stickers online uh, for bands and different things like that. And uh, within about six weeks, I had <laughs> come up with about 2500 bucks, and I found uh, this car um, up in Grass Valley, California, and I drove up there, and I bought it. And I towed it back to uh, another friend of mine. How'd you tow it? Did it roll? Or did it go? It up rolled. Yeah, it rolled. It went up onto a, a trailer. Um, the president of our hospital. So again, a point to the kind of people that uh, work at the organization. Very cool. He he heard that I had bought the car and I was going to rent a trailer, and he's like, "Oh no!" He's like, "I'll drive you. I'll you use my trailer, my truck, my gas." Uh, and I'll go up to Grass Valley with you, and we'll pick up the car and we'll bring the two it back. of you road trip. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah. Uh, so we went up there, we loaded the car up, and then I have a friend uh, who's a teacher at a school about an hour and a half away, um, and their shop program is uh, just like much of the programs in California and schools across country, uh, has gone away, and so they don't really use the shop, and so my friend said, hey, uh, if somebody's willing to use our shop, I'd love the kids to be able to see a project taking place. You can keep your car here. That's cool. So, so have the kids seen the, the yeah yeah the seen? kids stripped the car for me. Um, oh, they did. I didn't know they that. They did. Yeah, they took all the interior out. They took the. Front, they did a great job. There front, was, yeah, front quarter panels off. As uh, far as I can tell, there was no additional damage. From no, the, no, no. Yeah, the doors the doors uh, opened better when they were done. Um, so yeah, so it was there for about two years, and I had to drive an hour and a half to go work on it each way. Um, and then now we're not talking out of school. Like your, if your wife was here, she would say those are absolutely the rules. Yeah, absolutely. And she would yeah. say those were, that was absolutely the motivation behind it was to deter you from doing it. Absolutely. But her rules actually, to me, seem very reasonable. They like, were. Yeah. They like, made like, sense. You can't yeah. just spend our money on your thing. Yeah. And we can't have junk in the front yard. It was yeah. essentially it. it made sense. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. uh, seeing your tenacity, like yeah. I can do that yeah. anyway. Loophole. Got a loophole. <laughs> you, you're the kid who was selling Happy Meal, used yeah. Happy Meals up and down the, I, we, the hallway at a hotel. When we got our first computer when I was in school, we uh, bought a CD burner, and I sold bootleg CDs <laughs> in elementary school. Yeah, right? So you There's always get, a way. You could get Snoop Dogg and Eminem from me mm -hmm. uh, in the fifth grade Cheap. as well, yeah. for real. Um, That's cool. Yeah. I wish I'd kept my pirated copy of the original Star Wars mm -hmm. somebody had recorded with a VHS camera. In which the theater. Is the, in the theater. <laughs> Yeah, it, like a, it's like a television camera, like mm -hmm. an old school television camera. Yeah, I wish I'd kept that. I was um, missing three minutes of the movie when they got up to go use the bathroom. Yeah, yeah right, 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 exactly. Yeah. Like you went with them, they brought the camera with them. Uh, yeah, <laughs> incredible. Um, yeah, so, uh, and now you're, I, I feel like you are, it always feels like you're 90% done, but you're probably like 80% done on your car. Yeah, so all of the mechanical stuff is is done. I have a mechanic going through it to make sure that I don't die on the freeway. Uh, so they went through, they checked my brake system um, and said that it was sound. They got the engine running correctly because I had a wire hooked up uh, telling it that the temperature was wrong. So they got that fixed. It's idling correctly now. Um, so they're going to work on the transmission, make sure that it's hooked up and shifts correctly because... All the parts on the car are the wrong parts for the car. Um, right, you kind of Frankenstein it. Yeah, it's, it's you knew that going in. Yeah, it's not a restoration. It's a it's a custom. You're making um, your own thing. So it's a, a fuel injected, you know, late model motor with a four speed overdrive transmission. So the car originally uh, would have had an inline six with a three speed automatic or three speed manual, um, and had about you know 110 horsepower. So it's now closer to 350, 375. <laughs> 
Man. Um, now, you had to yeah. move, like, it's called a firewall, right? Between the driver and the yeah. engine, there's a fire. You had to move that, didn't you? Uh, I had to, had to adjust it a little bit. Um, and the motor is as far it's back ready. as it can be. Is it ready? Our stakes are ready? Oh, all right. Our tri yeah. tip's ready. Tri tip's ready. Oh, it's going to need to sit for a bit. All right, cool. Oh, the cat's right there. Yeah. Cat's being a I, jackass. He's saying, oh, come on, it's right there. Yeah, yeah, cat's do doing it on purpose. You know the cat's doing it on purpose. Like, uh, uh, <laughs> is he hungry all of a sudden? Um, is there a plate I could put the tri tip on? 25 pounds. No? We got rid of all okay. our plates? Yeah. Uh, you know, there's a big plate in there, like a big uh, rectangular dish. Uh, I don't know if Molly will get it. Yeah, well, either way. Um, uh, but yeah, so it's, it's... And then you're going to paint it? I'm going to do the bodywork and paint. I've not painted a car in about a decade, maybe a little longer. But you've powder-coated in the past? I've powder-coated, I've painted, I've done uh, minimal bodywork. Um, so it'll be interesting. I've started, I've done all the rust repair on the car already. Um, and, uh, it looks really cool. I it's cool. Say. It's 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 the ugliest cool car um, right. that I've ever owned. Right. <laughs> It is that sweet spot between yeah, ugly and yeah. cool. And it's two and a two and a half, two and a quarter inches off the ground in the rear, so it's a true it's low low rider back to my, my days um, in the farming community that I grew up Gangsta. in. Gangsta. Yeah. Uh, no, it's a good looking car. Um, I like I, I like the Charlie Brown trees. I like the offbeat weird things. Yeah. The, the, you know, the the people who hit home runs twenty four seven, they're not as interesting, I think, as the things that yeah. that you find the character in them in yeah. your car. Has a boatload of character. Yeah. It really does. It's a, it's amazing. And with the parameters that my wife set up, um, I've been you know on a budget with the car. So I've done up until dropping it off the mechanic. No one else has touched any aspect of the car. That's pretty cool. Besides me. So that's I'm I'm pretty excited about. That. Have you named your car, Bessie? Uh, or my car is named Lunch Money. Why? Uh, so because I couldn't use our shared finances, uh, my wife is a very Type A person and you know has a plan for everything which is great because i'm not that way yeah. uh, so we complement each other very well um so it has nothing to do with you being a bully in grade school no i Taking wish i money. wish it did because that would have been a lot easier uh no so we part of our life is we have budgets um in every aspect and one of those is we had budgeted uh money to spend on food outside of our house uh every week or month and so instead of eating, I started using my lunch money to buy car parts. <laughs> and so I named my car Lunch Money. Did, were you fitter at the end of it all? You're more fit now because you haven't had any I, lunch? I lost about 20 pounds, but I found them. So you found them I again? Found, I found them. Life's that way. Yeah. Well, that's cool. So, when do you think you will uh, be driving around a painted, finished vehicle? Uh, my goal was September 30, but the car has been at the shop for a couple months when I thought it would really be there for uh, maybe a week or two. Um, do you so want to call them and tell them like you know what I they've, said they've, anytime they've thrown a wrench in it I, I will be stopping by the guy told me he was going to come in on a Saturday to work on it uh, oh. because he, he understands that I, I I think he's probably sick of seeing me on Friday which is I don't blame him good um, keep showing yeah, up yeah exactly keep showing up and I, and I tell so him would... I tell him every Friday I'll see you next Friday um, so I, I don't feel like that's too intrusive on his work but no if he's maybe it is going to make a deadline well, I never gave a deadline. Oh, maybe yeah, kind it's, of a jerk move. Yeah, <laughs> lifeline. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, that's, I, I, I'll take it. I don't care. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, so that's that's my car. It's it's fun. That's cool. Yeah, it's it's not uh, your truck, but you know, my truck will race your car. Absolutely, I, I cannot uh, wait for that day. That will be amazing. Yeah, dead man's curve. <laughs> well, it's right there. It's yeah. It's, it's literally right, right in front yeah, of your house. I will probably die. Yeah um cool yeah very very cool what's your uh i don't know what's your uh i have no question here i was gonna ask you like what's your plan for the year like what's your what do you foresee like you've got everything dialed in you've got the cool job you've got the cool car you've got the lovely wife you've got the great little house like do you see next year changing or is this like you're... this year has ended up um far better than i thought it was uh, i think that me along with a lot of other people went into this year with a lot of trepidation and uh I myself didn't have any anxiety, but a lot of people um, in the world of healthcare, as it changes, have had anxiety. So uh, the year started out rough, and it's turned out better than I ever could have imagined uh, so far. I agree with um, that. I agree with that. My own I, self. I, I was more the anxiety person. Yeah, it started off uh, as a as a tough year, a year that we thought that was a thing. Like coming into the year, this is going to be great. We're banging on all cylinders. This is really going to go. And then kind of the rug got pulled out. 
in January, and so you're like, oh, maybe not, you know? Yeah. Uh, and so I, I'm prone to panic. Uh, but yeah, it seems yeah. like an amazing year, like yeah. exceeding all expectations. Yeah, and uh, one of my favorite things that I have coming up, I've not been on a vacation with my parents. Um, in Step it, in a goal? In about as long as I can remember. Well, we, growing up, my parents were both business owners, and so when you're a business owner, you... You're, you're you're tied to that business. You never go well, on vacation. Course, yeah. You never do anything. So we'd plan vacations, and sometimes they'd happen, sometimes they wouldn't. Most of the time, the vacation would be with one of my parents, not both of them, because even though they were married or are married, um, they both could not leave at the same time from their jobs. Uh, so I'm going on a vacation to Mexico with my parents. I think it's probably the first vacation I've been on with both of them in 18 years, maybe. Wow. Uh, and when, it, when is that? Uh, November that's incredible. Of this year and so it's been I've been me and my wife have been trying to get them to agree to something like this for several years uh, they always say they'll do it and then when it comes time to book they have a reason that they can't go yeah I imagine and so this year we see right They're yeah like, I oh, want to go yeah but then life is harder than so this not. year we we kind of twisted the arm a little bit and and yeah. we bought the tickets and booked it and we're going so man all right yeah that's unless the great. wall gets built really high we're gonna yeah, how high do you think they're going to build that wall? Is it going to stop planes? I hope not, yeah. Space Force. Space Force will go over I think you'll be able to get in. Yeah. Coming back. Yeah, coming back. Oh, uh, you have a sort of a Hispanic <laughs> last name. Oh, Terry. Yeah. What? That was all. Look at this. Terry's so Sizing both of them. Yeah, Alvarez uh, definitely should get me in. I had a friend named Alvarez. Uh, I went to Mexico with a friend named Alvarez. Uh, he was from Hawaii, but... Uh, Last His parents we, hated him. We had a hard time getting him back into wow. uh, the United States of America. <laughs> nice. That's all good. But we got him back. And now he's a professor of some important thing. Wow. He's super. He knows Latin. Dang. Wow. I know. Anyway. Yeah. That's. I think that's our show. Oh, man. Because the stakes are ready. I feel like I carried on too long. You blathered. I did. I, I I'm going to have to delete like half of this. That's fine. Uh, that's that's what I have to do all Mostly day. verbs. <laughs> you blather for a living? I do. I, I talk job. a lot about our lovely community. Um, and that's I good. Ne- never nice. overpromise. That's my well, big that's thing. the key to that. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming. Please Absolutely. come back. I hope you will come back. Yeah. I'm sorry about everything I said. Thanks. Uh, or we'll say after you leave. With, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but thank you for coming. Yeah. I really do appreciate it yeah. a lot. Thanks for talking Absolutely. about it. I had no idea about the Beanie Babies. To me, that's amazing. Oh. And yeah. selling uh, Happy Meals door yeah, they, to door that was, that's a yeah. good, that's that a was story. insane. It, it, it was a transitional moment in my life. You learned a lot. I did. And I've held the, uh, a 25-year grudge or something. Good. We should have Aunt Patty on the show. <laughs> All right. Uh, work it out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Patty, you can, you can stay home. Okay. We should have, honestly, though, we should have our parents on the show. Yeah. I think if my parents, parents come down, I'd love to have my yeah. mom on the yeah. show. All right. My dad, he, he's a quiet guy. Well, your uh, mom and my mom. My mom would be, she'd be a, she'd they be should fun. arm wrestle. She'd be fun. For, for cash. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, thank you so much. I think I'm going to hit one of these buttons. All yeah. right. Have a good night. Night. Bye. Bye.